have two items from a new coach collection to unbox for you and I discovered something very concerning this morning as I was browsing coach items and I want to share that with you and hopefully make you aware of this problem and how you can avoid it. Stay tuned. <music> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community posts on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Let's get right to the unboxing. In this case, an unbagging. In my last video, I showed you these Coach Trio pouches in the new Creatures collection from the Coach Outlet. The chicks, the kitty cats, and the puppy dogs. And I told you that two of the items I ordered from that collection had not yet arrived, but they're here now. The first piece is this corner zip wristlet with the chicks pattern. Now this piece I did not purchase for myself. I got it as a gift for someone else, probably a Christmas gift, not sure yet. And here's your little spin of all the sides. It has this wristlet strap attached to the zipper. It is not removable. Here are the two chick pieces side by side. They're the same height. The one from the trio pouch is a little bit shorter, maybe half an inch shorter. And I have to say the trio pouch is better quality in my opinion. A couple of reasons. One, the trio pouch has piping, an extra detail that this wristlet doesn't have. And two, the trio pouch has the coach emblem in raised metal, whereas on here it literally looks like a sticker when you look at it up close. So that is not impressive. This corner zip wristlet was about $40. This was part of a set that was about $140. The interior of the trio pouch has this dark terracotta brown colored kind of fabric inside and it has this key ring. The corner zip wristlet has the same color interior and on one side it has two card pockets. The other piece I purchased is in here and it's the field tote. No, it's not not. It's the Dempsey Tote 22 with the puppy dog. It's so cute. Once I ordered this, I was not sure whether I would really like it in person and whether I'd end up keeping it. A couple reasons. It's an outlet bag. I've seen the Dempsey Tote 22s before and some of them I'm just really unimpressed with. Also, like I mentioned when I first talked to you guys about the Coach Creatures collection, I'm not crazy about the dog being right in the middle of the bag. I wish it had been off to the side here. I think that would have been better placement, but this is better quality than I was expecting. The leather is really nice. It has silver toned hardware. It's a darker silver. It's not bright silver, but it's also not gun metal. It's somewhere in between. It has contrast stitching and kind of a terracotta color. And the dog, I don't know how well this is gonna come across but the dog is actually textured. It's not just printed on there. It is printed on there, but it has a little bit of the leather texture, but then it's bumpier too. I don't know how they do this, what process they use, but it's well done. It doesn't look like it's on there cheaply. It looks nicer than I thought it would. The back of the bag is all black, so if you don't want the dog showing, you can just turn the bag around. It does have feet on the bottom and on each side it has a D-ring to attach the crossbody strap. And here it is all unwrapped so you can see the whole thing. It looks great. Now the Dempsey tote is the coach outlet answer to the coach boutique field tote. And one thing I really prefer about the Dempsey bags is that these handles will fold in and hide away so that when you have the crossbody strap or the shoulder strap on the bag, they're not flopping around everywhere on you. Whereas on the field tote from the boutique, the handles stick up the whole time. They don't fold down at all. Here's the interior of this bag. I can't tell if it's black or a really deep blue. It has the coach story patch. There's a zippered pocket on the back and on the front, there is one big slip pocket. This bag is about eight and a half inches wide seven and a half inches tall and four inches deep. It's small for a tote, but it's really big enough to hold quite a lot. Though I won't be doing a wet fits in this video. And here is the dog pouch from the trio pouch and the field tote 22s. You can see the size comparison 
and I was thinking I could put this pouch inside the 22, but it is going to stick up. The pouch is about as wide as the bag, and it sticks up way out of it, so I don't know about that. But maybe. They do go together. I don't know. It also has the little coach hang tag here, which I think is in a weird place because it kind of hangs over the bag in a strange way. I think it'd be better on a D-ring over here. When I first talked to you about the Coach Creatures collection, I mentioned I'd been looking for one of these little field tote Dempsey tote 22s for a while now, and that maybe I'd finally found the one for me and I think I have but there is another one that haunts me and I looked online for it this morning and that's where I found something disturbing. The field tote I love more than any field tote, and this is a field tote from the boutique, is this one from the Michael B. Jordan collaboration with Artist Blue. It has the mummified Rexy on the front, the brown signature CCs also in a mummified interpretation. On the sides it's this gray mummified CCs with black leather trim. It's a beautiful bag. I want it very much. However, it wasn't released in the United States. And I know a lot of people have complained about that. Coach is an American company. Everything they release should be released here. We should have first dibs, but we don't. One of the many changes I would make were I CEO of Coach. This bag was released about a year, maybe a little more than a year ago, if I remember correctly, and it has been very difficult to find. You'd think it would eventually work its way over here on the pre-loved market, but I mean, just about impossible to find this thing. But I searched this morning and I found five of them, two of which were on eBay for about $325, another two of which were on eBay for closer to $1,000, and the fifth one was on a website called Carousel. And I'll explain that in just a second. So the first one I found was $324 or so and I look at it and I'm like oh my gosh I put it in my cart I'm about to buy it and then I think wait a minute let me look around let me see if I can find any others and if so what are they going for is this really that great a deal maybe there's one a little cheaper. So I did the search I found these other bags I start looking at photos of them because the one I found for $324 it was all photos from the coach website and then just one photo of the front of the actual bag they were selling. The other listings, however, had more photos of the actual bag, and I noticed something. Some of the bags had a black interior, and some of the bags had a tan interior. So I searched Google Images, and I found the Coach website in Singapore where this listing is still available. It's not available for purchase anymore, but you can still see the listing and the photographs. And that real authentic one from the Coach in Singapore had a black interior. So I was wondering, is it possible that they made it with two different interiors, or could what I'm seeing on eBay with the $300 bags be too good to be true, could these be fakes? And I think yes indeed they were fakes. Now it is possible that there were different colored interiors from Coach, however, I don't think it's likely with this particular bag. Now I have purchased a Nolita pouch from the Coach outlet before that had one color interior on the website in the official photos, but when I received it, it had a different color interior. So that happens, but why do I think it's not the case in this collection? Because that was a limited, a very limited edition collection. So they're not making them over and over again, and I think what they show on the website is most likely accurate. Now it is Coach, maybe it's not. The listing on Carousel confirmed to me that there are indeed fakes of this bag, and I was surprised by that, even though I know that there are tons of fakes of Coach bags. This was one that I thought, that's not gonna be popular enough that they're gonna make fakes of it. Pretty sure I'm wrong pretty sure. Because in my experience, a lot of things on Carousel are fake. They definitely have high-end designer bags that are fake. So my guess would be those $300 bags on eBay, particularly the ones that actually show the interior and the interior is tan. I think most likely those are going to be fakes. Both of the $300 bags, the first one I saw didn't have a picture of the interior, so I'm not even sure. It only had the one photo of the front but the second bag had a photo of the interior and it was tan. There was also a bag for $900 and one for $1,000. The $1,000 bag had the tan interior. I think someone is trying to sell a fake bag for $1,000. The $900 bag, however, that listing had more photos than any of the other listings. It had photos of all the corners, it had photos of the story patch, it had photos of everything, and that bag had the black interior. And I think that bag is the only one of all of these five that was actually authentic. And as much as I would love to have it, I don't want to pay $900 for it. There were also a few other things that made me wary of some of the other listings. If you take the $900 bag and 
let's assume that one is authentic. I, I believe it is. Look at the craftsmanship on that. Look at the shape of the bag and then compare that to some of the other bags. They don't seem quite as structured and the craftsmanship as good as the one I think is real. Particularly this one, this was the other $325 one, which has creases on the back corners, not on the corners, a little above the corners, where that bag has been folded at some point, and I don't think Coach would have folded their bags. Now, somebody else could have, but somebody folded that bag at some point, and that's one of the reasons I think that particular one is a fake. Although, of course, yes, that could happen to an authentic bag as well. Another thing that I noticed about the ones I think are fake versus the one I think is real, the authentic images from the Singapore website, is that on those bags, the hang tag was attached to the strap, similar to how it is here, and it hangs off the front of the bag. But the ones that I think are fake, the hang tag was attached to the D-ring on the side, which is not where Coach would have put it. And some of those bags still had the styrofoam on them and still had the tag wrapped in styrofoam, which would make you think that no one has taken the tag off and moved it. So that was another thing that seemed a little fishy to me. Now, what's the big surprise here? We all know that there are fake bags on the internet. Well, for me, I was just surprised this particular bag had been faked. And also I wanted to make you aware of this to point out some of those little details to look for. And if you're looking at something that you think could be fake or you find a price that's too good to be true, find other listings and compare the bags to themselves. I'm not an authenticator, so please don't send your photos to me. People do that sometimes. I can't help you with authentication. I can't give you my opinion on that. I don't wanna be held responsible in any kind of way. So I'm letting you know what I do to try to figure it out for myself. And I hope you enjoyed all of this and that it was informative for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here soon and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.